Hi folks, BC here. You're watching BC's Deuce and Guns, and as you can tell, I've got the deuce back out. We're going to take a look at it and see how it weathered, because I've not started this thing since October of 2013. Today is February 1st of 2014. Okay, first of all, we're going to take a look around the truck. Just take a visual look and see anything wrong. Everything seems to be there. Got a little lens flare there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. There's my coffee mug. Oh, I actually brought that here. I did not leave that there for three months. The smokestack cap of the Mountain Dew bottle is still on there. As you can see, the truck bed is full of water and leaking right now through the weep hole. Tires still look in decent shape. There you go, you see all the ice and leaves that have accumulated. Now let's open her up. See what we got. And she just like how I left it. Now before I even attempt to start this thing after sitting for this many months, I'm gonna go in and check all the fluids first. I know it's not the accurate way to check the fluids on the multi-fuel engine, but gotta make sure something's in there before we start it, just to make sure. Okay, most importantly, we wanna check the engine oil to make sure there's something in there. Again, this is not the way you check it, but we have plenty of oil all the way up to the second line there. Actually, the, yeah, top line there, so it's good. We are good. Of course, we should be because the last time I drove this thing, I changed the oil in it. But you never know. These old engines do like to leak sometimes. Okay, next up is to check the radiator fluid or the coolant. Okay, let's open that up. A normal car. And there is no expansion tank in the actual deuce and a half engine. Basically, it's like an old school engine there where you just basically don't fill it up all the way. You leave a couple of inches there, which basically is at the neck of the actual um, filling area here. And you can actually see way down in the bottom there, maybe. But there is coolant right about here, which is exactly where you want it. All right, so we're good with coolant and oil. And the final major check before you get going after your deuce is set for so long is to check the brake fluid. Now in this case, well in all cases in the deuces, you actually access the brake fluid. I've already read loose in that, that's usually not that loose. Through this little yellow panel here and it's down here. And if you look right there, if you could read that because it's levers in a way, it actually says add only silicone brake fluid. So basically it's a dot five system. They've upgraded from dot three to dot five to keep from the moisture buildup in the uh, in the actual brake fluid. So there's your actual plug that you take out. Actually, I will lay like that. So then we're not going to contaminate anything. And I'm going to shine my light down there and hopefully you guys will be able to see down into the brake fluid. You can see it is well, you can't see it. You can kind of see the reflection there. I've already checked it. It is actually right exactly where it should be, which is to the bottom of the threads. And it's a nice clear red, which is what you want. All right, let's bet this up. All right, time to start it up. What I'm going to do first is shut off the fuel going into the engine, turn the ignition on, and I'm going to hit the ignition just a little bit, just to make sure, just to turn the engine over a little bit, make sure we're not hydrologged. Because again, we've been sitting for months and months here. And then after that, uh, after that's checked out, I'm gonna go ahead and start her up and let her warm up for a good five minutes. Fuel's turned off. I'm out of gear. So cool. 
Force. Well folks, the deuce and a half is alive and well after it's uh, oh winter, I guess winter hibernation. Now if you noticed, a little tidbit of info here, if you noticed while I was trying to get the thing warmed up and started, I had to pull out a little bit of uh, hand throttle here, give it just a little bit of throttle. And the uh, that's actually per the instructions, the um, deuce manual, it actually says too if it's been, if it's extremely cold, or if it's been uh, not started in a very long time, which it's both right now. Uh, not today, but it has been below zero on several occasions since I last parked it. Give it just a little bit of hand throttle and you want to idle the thing at between 800 and 1000 RPM while she's warming up. Again, that's that five minute warm up period for the turbo. And that's all I have today, guys. I hope you really enjoy it. Um, there's gonna be more deuce and a half videos coming in the future, I promise. Now I've got her warmed up and ready to go. So go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and like this video if you like what you saw. See you guys. Have a great day.